Hey there, I'm Rina, and in this video, I'm going to show you the best OneNote tips and tricks. If you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love for you to join me on weekly videos on digital planning for Android and iPad. For this video, I'm going to be using my OneNote planner and I'll put the link to this in the description down below. This tip is about creating hyperlinks. So let's say I wanted to create a hyperlink from my December overview to expenses. So what I can do is I'm just going to zoom in anywhere and then type. So I'm going to type two brackets followed by the name of my tab, which is expenses. And then I'm going to go back and close the brackets and this will automatically create a hyperlink. I can also use the lasso to copy and paste this hyperlink. I'm just tapping in it, tap on copy, and then I can go into my December week one. And then I'm just going to long press on the page and paste my hyperlink there. And when I tap on that hyperlink, it's going to take me to the expenses page. This tip is about dragging and dropping images directly into OneNote. So what you need to do is open up OneNote in a split screen view. So I'm just going to bring up my files on one side of the screen and in my own downloads, I just have some images and then you can just long press and drag your images into OneNote. And then you can just close the split screen view. So OneNote is really amazing for its syncing abilities between different devices. Here I have the same digital planner on my iPad as my Android tablet. And I'm just going to copy a sticker to show you this functionality. And you can see the same sticker has appeared on the planner. This next tip is one of my favorites. You can tap on the page and under your keyboard, tap on this icon here, and then you can just write and it will turn into text. You can search for text and handwriting by tapping on the magnifying glass and type in what you want to search for. And then you see this has found all instances of the word gym in my planner. This next tip is about changing pen styles. So OneNote has a lot of cool pen styles in their pen settings. And to change the style of something that you have already put down on the page, you can just lasso everything and then change it into a different pen style. This next tip is about using emojis as stickers. Under your keyboard, you can use the different emojis in your planner. And if you browse along, you can also find different emojis that you can use. And to change the size, you can just select them and then change the text size. You can record audio and keep that within your planner by tapping on the icon here. Things to do today. And then you can just play this back. Things to do today. You can use tags against your notes to do that. Just tap on your text and then tap on the checkbox. And then you can tick and untick this checkbox. And if you tap on the tag icon, you've also got different tags that you can use to mark up your notes. You can also create a checklist by tapping on the page and tap on the checkbox, and then you can just type your text. Here is a tip for using text boxes. You can see the text box width here. If you just drag that out to where you want it to go, and then you can just carry on typing, and then it will naturally return when it hits the end of that text box. On the iPad, to see more of your planner, you can tap hide section list, and also tap on full screen to be able to hide the panels on the left. This next tip is about inserting stickers and online pictures. So with the text box, you can tap on the page and then tap on insert and go to stickers. And here you can find some cool stickers. You can also tap on online pictures and then type in the search box and this will insert the picture. The next tip is about shapes. Under draw, if you tap on ink to shape and then draw on the page, this will automatically snap to a perfect shape. Another way of drawing shapes is to tap on the shapes tool, pick the shape you want and draw on the page. This next tip is about changing the color of your tabs. You can long press on it and then tap on the edit button and then change the section color. The next tip is about the eraser tool. If you don't want to erase the entire stroke, you can pick between the small and medium eraser and this will only erase the parts that you choose to. This next tip is about inserting a table. You can tap on the text box and tap on the page and then go to insert and insert a table. And then you can just type and then hit tab to go into the next cell. And you can also tap on insert and insert rows below and insert columns right and left. This next tip is about applying a password. So you can long press on a section and then tap on the padlock and then you can protect your workbook. Give me a thumbs up if you found the video helpful. Check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.